Hey everyone, Dr. Brian Capra here uh, from Genesis Chiropractic Software. I've been getting some requests as I've gone through these videos. We're talking about insurance companies, how they've you know, been legally allowed to collude against us, um, rig the system. Uh, I've talked about how they use people and process and technology. We went into a little bit of depth about those things. And as I'm going along here, I'm getting some questions about what, um, what is people, process, and technology. And sometimes I just kind of flow through some content and forget to stop and go over some of the finer points. Um, so people, process, technology. Today I'm going to talk about people. All right, people in your in an insurance company are obvious, right? You have you have your your people that answer the call. Um, you have your auditors. You have your your high level management, your CEOs, etc. And every business is no matter what business, no matter what size the business it is, is always made of three people. Uh, three three things, and that's people and process and technology. Um, so what we're going to do is go dive a little bit into people. So um, the number, if I were to do a countdown um, to number uh, to number one, uh, the types of people in typically in your practice. Number one is your customer, or any business is a customer. In our businesses, that is our patients. Our patients are our customers. Um, they're obviously very important. Our whole business exists to give them a, an amazing experience. Customers, patients in our case, who have great experiences, stay longer, um, have uh, get better results uh, in our business. They, st they tend to convert to lifetime patients, um, and then they refer other people. And in some cases, if your business has such an amazing experience, they're actually even uh, willing to pay you even more than they would a similar type of business that that exists down the street. Think of Apple, um, et cetera. All right. So the experience has a lot to do with um, the customer. So the customer is number three. The second type of person in your business is obviously your team members. Now in chiropractic, many times the business owner, you, is also a staff member. You have a job to do. So the different types of uh, people or roles in your practice. The front desk CA, the check in, the check out. You have your billing person that they may do your follow up. Um, they may do insurance benefit verifications. You have somebody that does financials and care plans. You have usually um, you want to have somebody that does at least some of the marketing or manages the marketing or ma the marketing calendar, um, et cetera. So you have your marketing. Usually you have some type of sales role, and you may have three people in your office, but these role and these roles. May, one person may have more than one role, but you have sales. Whether or not we get that or want to admit that, there is a conversion process when a patient comes in that has never heard about chiropractic before, and you're going to teach them what their problem is, how it's affecting their life, and what they need to do about it, and have them pay for that. That's a sales process. So sales is a key component um, of your business, and somebody on your team, somebody on your staff, has to be responsible for that thing. Okay. Now, so we have customers or patients, staff, which may include you, a practice owner, or may include an office manager and all the roles we talked about. And the last, and I will say most important, is you. Uh, you are the visionary. You're the business owner and the business manager, really. So sometimes you get an employee that can manage the business. That's when doctors really start to be able to run these their practice like a real business, where the business actually becomes really self-managing, self-sustaining, and you are an owner of a business that, it, that can be um, transferred to another. Stephen um, Franson likes to say it's transferable. You can sell it, and the value of that business wouldn't change the next day because it's literally run by your team, your staff, right? That whole thing is actually run by an entire team. But as the business owner building a great team, the number one reason is to free you up um, free you up, free your mind up, your thought, because you're a visionary. As an entrepreneur, um, the number one thing that we do is, is think and dream and, and, and think of better ways to do things. So when you're adjusting, and this is not to shun this, this is okay if you do this, if this is one of your passions. But if you're adjusting, you're not thinking about how to scale the business. You're not thinking how to replicate the business and do it in multiple locations. Um, you're not thinking of the details of how you can measure different processes in your office and whether or not those processes are successful. So the, the reason the middleman exists, the middle woman exists, uh, what ha what it may, whatever it may be, 
is to free you up to be the visionary to develop better processes. And we're going to talk about process and technology. When you are free, you're able to dream again. You're able to experience life. You're able to take vacations, spend time with your family. You need to be free to be a better parent, be a better partner in your relationship, to have your own peace of mind, and to actually, most importantly, contribute to our community our, and our world. Um, so we really need you um, to understand this, people, so that you can free up. We're going to talk about process and technology, too, and how that ultimately leads to freeing you up um, to uh, become, to be able to serve even better, be able to serve patients even better, um, to really expand out. And, and this profession, we have nowhere near enough chiropractors to serve the amount of people that need what we have to offer. So I hope this was helpful. I'm going to go a little bit more, take a step back to, so we can take a step forward. We're getting more into the insurance companies and automation and technology. Um, so just wanted to dive into people a little bit. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I'll come back to process tomorrow. And hopefully that helps. Thanks, guys.